Hey guys, so I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I just got back from the grocery store and I wanted to show you this brush. There's hair in it already, but uh, <laughs> excuse that. Anyway, so I needed a new brush because my other brush feels like it's just ripping my head off and I saw this one and I was I wanted to get one of those I don't even know what they're called the brushes that like don't have a handle and they detangle your hair that's what I wanted because my hair gets really naughty and I didn't want to have oh my gosh burp I just ate dinner um what was I saying <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but um, I wanted a brush that would detangle my hair with, without, you know, ripping all of my hair out. And I saw this thing and it said detangling and it looks like the flimsiest brush in the world. Wow, the color looks so different on the camera. Um, yeah, I'll, some of the bristles are bent because the way the package was done, but uh, it's just a purple brush. It's a, a Conair brush. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it just says... It's a detangling brush and you can use it on wet or dry hair. And um, basically it's the most amazing thing I have ever, ever used in my life. Like you can start at the top of your head and go straight through it and it doesn't do anything to it. I just used it so it's it's already kind of brushed out. But I'm gonna mess up my hair and get it tangled a little bit. And I'll show you guys, okay. Put my hair back where it's supposed to go and then you just brush it and it just goes straight through it's so amazing little tiny bristles and it doesn't like yank on your hair you can feel it sometimes get stuck on them but once you go over it like it's just it's the most amazing brush in the world i love it and it was like um 487 at Walmart, I believe it was. Four dollars and something cents. But yeah. Little beastie brush. So um while I'm sitting here, I got out a bunch of other new stuff that I have gotten over the past few weeks and I just thought I'd show you guys while I'm sitting here. Um first is this lotion or face moisturizer. It's the Walmart brand. And compare to Olay Active Hydrating Beauty Fluid Lotion. So there is an Olay face moisturizer that has the same, it comes in a box. It looks exactly the same as this, the box, whatever. It looks exactly the same as the Olay one. And I can't remember how much cheaper this is, but it's like a tiny fraction of the cost of the Olay one. So I... I turned to look at the ingredients and the ingredients are literally word for word exactly the same except for um, I think it was the fragrance yeah I think there's fragrance in this one that the other one doesn't have but um ingredients are the exact same thing and the moisturizer I used to use was six times the cost of this for only one ounce and this has six ounces so there's that and um then I got this St. Ives Revitalizing Pear and Soy uh, Body Wash. Um, it smells like a pear. It also kind of smells like an apple, but I think pears and apples kind of smell the same, except pears are like sour. I don't know. I don't eat pears. Um, then the other day, Wesley and I went into Walmart, and this... Um, was on sale, I don't know why, but it was only $3. It's a conditioning cleanser, just like the Herbal Essence one that I bought a while ago when I dyed my hair. Uh, it's just like that, except this one is for, well, you can use it on color, colored hair. The camera won't focus. It says Color Defend. Yeah. And then I've actually started using little hair treatments, like the little packets. I didn't know Walmart sold any of those, but they do, and I don't have them with me. I forgot them in my shower, but I also got some at Sally's. There's an eye on one for damaged hair, and it made my hair so soft. It was so amazing, because I'm actually going to try to, like, seriously try to grow my hair out now, and I'm not going to damage it too bad. I still straighten it every almost every day. 
I'm gonna try not to damage it too bad, so yeah, I need it to grow, but um, here's a little argon oil bottle. This was like 99 cents at Walmart um, by the brand Hask. I don't know why the camera won't focus. Um, no, don't roll away. Okay. And I also got this e.l.f. powder brush because, well, look, it's just flat and, you know, powder brush. Because I've started using this L'Oreal Mineral Foundation because I am the laziest person alive. Um, in the morning, getting ready for school, or like if I have to run somewhere real quick, I do not want to spend forever on my makeup. And I don't want to take the time to use liquid foundation. So I was like, why don't I try a powder one? And I wasn't expecting it to be like full coverage or anything or like do very well, but this actually surprisingly covers up a lot. My makeup probably looks disgusting right now because I just got back from the store and I'm probably really oily, but this actually does control the oil really well. And it is really full coverage actually. So L'Oreal True Match Mineral Gentle Mineral Makeup. Yeah. And then there's a lipstick that I got from Maybelline in 920 Nude Lust. And I'm not actually wearing it right now. But ugh, hang on one more. But it's just a really pretty nude. You can't tell on the camera right now, but it's actually like a really pretty pinky nude. And it doesn't make you look like you're dead. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> then I got my first... Stop rolling away. I got my first ever NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream. Um, what color is that? There we go. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo. And I feel like it takes a while to, ooh, to get matte. Like... I put it on and it looks like goo, <laughs> and then after a while it will go matte. Uh, yeah. Then the other day I was in CVS, and these are um, some lip pencils from NYC, and they're like just like those new Revlon pencil things. I don't know exactly what they're called. But Revlon had, has these new pencil type things. I want to get some because some of them are matte. But um, I actually really like these ones. This color, it looks like it would just be like a pretty lilac color. But it's actually like the most vibrant uh, pink ever. Like vibrant. I'll swatch them on my hand really quick. Hang okay, the lighting kind of sucks. But that's how bright the pink is. Like it's just super super bright and then you can see the nude a little bit and they're kind of shiny but I don't know what it is but I think when they're actually on your lips they don't they aren't that shiny so I don't know what that is but um then I was in Hobby Lobby and I'm really into incense now and like candles and I never have been a person that's been into burning candles and incense and stuff but oh I gotta reach all the way over here for this uh, whoa. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay. There was these little tiny cute little incense kits on sale at Walmart. The dish isn't in there. I just have a lighter in there. But uh, it was the cutest little thing. And it was only $3. And then I went into Hobby Lobby and I found this lavender incense cone thingy for only 99 cents. So... Yeah, like we have those little smelly things that you plug in onto your wall and the wax melts and it makes things smell good. But I like burning incense and I've actually like meditated a few times. Like I didn't think I would ever meditate and I like yoga. Like, oh my God. Um, I would burn incense and I do some yoga and then just like rest and meditate for a little bit. So every time I burn incense now, I like start breathing and it actually relaxes me. It's like I've conditioned my brain to relax to the smell of incense. And um, yeah, so that's always fun. Oh yeah, I have to show you guys my purse. I also got this purse the other day. 
Let me set it down so I can show you. But this purse was on sale at Target for $10 and it used to be like $35. So that's pretty snazzy. It's just got two little cute handles here and they look like belts and then one long strap and it's got a pocket right there and these two like cell phone type pocket things and then I also got this little bag thingy I use this as my wallet now so if I'm going like if I come from school and I don't want to carry my whole bag into a store I stick my cell phone in here with my cards and money and I run in with just this so I wanted a little wallet like that and I've also got some other purses that I just ordered on eBay that and a bunch of other stuff that I ordered off of eBay that should be coming in near the end of the month so I was gonna do a haul on those and I'll probably just throw this purse in there again just so it's the actual haul of the purses and junk um, yeah so uh, I've done enough talking. Um, Tuesday, Wesley and I are doing the Boyfriend Does My Makeup tag. Uh, this month, on February 20th, will be our four, we'll have been together for four years. So I told him we would do the boyfriend tags and all that stuff. So when we do the Boyfriend Does My Makeup tag, on that video you guys can ask us any questions about us and then we'll answer them in the actual boyfriend tag. We'll answer all the normal tag questions and then whatever questions you guys have. And yeah, that that should be fun. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm gonna go clean out my fridge and my pantry because there's a bunch of leftovers and old food in there. And I just went grocery shopping, so nothing fits in the fridge anymore. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'll just throw this video up on YouTube. And then I will see you guys on Tuesday with Wesley. Bye-bye!